I've been receiving a lot of requests about information on micromotors lately, so I figured I'd put together this video really quickly to show you some of the micromotors that I have here in my studio. These are the three different machines I have here in my studio. We have a 1050, a 1040, and then depending on the configuration you buy this particular one in, it's a 1070 or a 1090, or there's a couple of other configurations, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. So what are the differences between these machines and why do I have all of them in my studio? Well, these two get used probably the most at my personal benches because I'm doing stone setting and other types of uh, activities that need a little bit more torque or different speed controls. Both of them will go up to 50,000 RPM on the rotary hand pieces. Both of them have a brushless hand piece, which is really nice because the maintenance on those are much lower. But then, like I said, they both are higher torque. Now the 1050 here, this will go from 1,000 to 50,000 RPM, whereas the new 1040 is really nice because it will start at 500 RPM with a lot of torque. So a lot of times the micro motors, as you use them, one, either don't have enough torque or that torque doesn't really kick in until you get some of those higher speeds. But when I'm cutting prongs or fine uh, stone settings, I want to have that control and that power at those lower speeds. So when I'm looking at a micro motor, how do I decide what is best for me? What do I need? Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the capabilities. So here the 1050, like I said, this one is going to have two hand pieces that you can attach. So I can attach both a brushless type, which is what my rotary hand piece is, and I can also attach a brush type. So I could have another rotary hand piece if I wanted to, or in my case, I use that brush type spot for my hammer hand piece. That's a pretty important thing for me because I I use this a lot for bezel setting and texturing uh, and then also some stone setting. When it comes to the power on this, I said that this one will go up to 50,000 RPM. Really, it's the handpiece or the micromotor that determines the speed capabilities. So if I were to turn this on and put it to the rotary handpiece, I will be able to go up to 50,000 RPM. But if I put in a hammer handpiece, then I'm only gonna go up to about 2,500 strokes per minute. Again, it's limited by whatever that handpiece or that micromotor is capable of doing. When I come, over to the 1040. The nice thing about this that no other micromotor that from Fordham has is that low speed, high torque. So again, we can go from 500 RPM, and this one actually has two settings. So I can go 500 RPM to 50,000, or I can go 500 to 5,000 RPM. In both cases, that 500 RPM is a high torque. Now that high torque is about eight Newton centimeters, and that is going to be really what I want. I want at least seven Newton centimeters for diamond setting and stone setting like that. So this is definitely going to be capable of that, especially with that lower speed. Now the 1070 here, this is going to be a high speed. This goes up to 38,000 RPM, starting at 1000 RPM. And like I said, you can have some different configurations. This is a brush type motor, which means that that we are going to have brushes inside of the bottom of our handpiece that are going to need to have some maintenance on that, as well as keeping this area clean from dust and debris. Now, in every one of these cases, these boxes here are not the motor themselves. These are just the control boxes. This allows me to switch between hand and foot, forward and reverse, and then also maybe even between different hand pieces depending on its capabilities. This right here, the hand piece, is the micro motor, and that's why we call it a micro motor versus this is the same type of machinery that's going to run your flex shaft motor, but it's tiny. Regardless of what machine you buy, every hand piece is going to come with a cradle. You wanna make certain that you take very good care of your micro motors. If you're dropping them, you are going to damage them and they may or may not be able to be repaired. So it's definitely something that 
you want to care for. Now, in the case of my 1050 and my 1040, I also have some optional uh, cradle holders that will just slip into place on the machine itself. Okay, so this one also has it here on the side that I could just insert that. And so I have a number of different ways of storing my hand pieces. Other things you should do with your hand pieces is always keep some attachment or some item inside of your chuck. The reason for this is that the collet inside can easily be crushed if you do not store something in there and you close this. Every micro motor is going to come with a blank mandrel when you receive the machine. So oftentimes I will either just use the blank mandrel or I will leave some accessory inside of this. So in this case, I have a sandpaper roll. And in this case, I have a satin finisher. It doesn't matter just as long as we make certain there is something in here to kind of support that collet, whether we've opened or closed the handpiece. Some of my favorite features of this small one, and like I said, in this configuration, it is a 1070. And a 1070 just means that it is going to have the brush type micro motor with this. Now, you can also order this, like I said, in different configurations. When I ordered mine, I actually ordered a 1090. Now, what does that mean? That means that it came with a brush type rotary handpiece as well as a brush type hammer handpiece. So, like I said, as you order different configurations, configurations, then it's going to change kind of that number that you order. But you can always add in a handpiece later on as well. The rotary handpiece will go up to 38,000 RPM. It does not have the same kind of torque as the 1040 or the 1050, but again, it does have that speed, which is what I'm going to use a lot for when I'm drilling or polishing pieces. Now when I hook up the hammer hand piece to this box, then it is only going to do 2,500 strokes per minute. And again, that is determined by the hand piece itself. Now there's one more micro motor that I do not have featured here, and that is the 1030. This is a portable rotary micro motor. The nice thing about this unit is that it is pocket sized and it has a lithium ion rechargeable battery. It's variable speed up to 30,000 RPM. And it's small size, makes it really easy for you to take to shows if you have to touch up polishing on, on jewelry pieces. It has a digital RPM display at the top, which makes it really easy for you to monitor your speed as you work. One thing I like about all of the rotary hand pieces is that you can have these come either with a 1 8 inch or a 3 30 second uh, collet installed. And what I like to do is to take that 3 30 second collet out and then put in a 1 8 if it didn't already come installed with that. And now what I can do is use these collet adapters to use those on my 3 30 seconds, but then I also have the ability to use a 1 8 inch mandrel as well. So it gives me a little bit more versatility in that manner. Now, like I said, I have in-depth videos on each of these units, so be sure you check those out. I'll link them down below in the description. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop those down in the comments and we will be sure that we answer those and get back to you soon. If you're liking these videos, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell, mark that you would like all notifications, and we will see you guys next time.